Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for coming in for another video. Today I'm doing a small haul. This is a Goodwill haul and a thrift store haul. And I am bringing you a series of videos this week that will showcase some of my, what I call encounters, Goodwill encounters, because I find these in the counters, not necessarily from a bag. I do have some bags to show you as well, so be sure and uh, stay tuned for those. Let's get started with these. I'll show you my rings of the day. That's become kind of a tradition around here. I have a wraparound whale tail ring. I have the David Yerman that I bought for $1 at a garage sale. I bought this one for a dollar too. This one was simply marked 925. I did not see any other mark on it. Someone said they saw one, but I don't see another mark on it anywhere. But it's amazing. It is so heavy. I am so happy it fits me on my middle finger because it is able to sustain that weight. And I have no idea what kind of stone that is or what, but it's extremely heavy. And I also purchased this at a garage sale last month, I believe it was, for $1. Unbelievable. I hope you were able to see that video. If not, I'll link it here in uh, either at the end of the video or in the comment section. All right, so today we are looking at some wonderful pieces from the Goodwill. These are amazing. They remind me of 60s flower power. Remember those little rubber ones that they would sell? And you could cling them onto your <laughs> windows and things. Gosh, these are sterling though, and they're beautiful. They're very thick, but they are hollow, so they're not heavy. And I believe they're just simply marked 925. I don't see any other mark on them. There they are there. And of course, I did test those. They're fantastic. They look so cute on. They're a little bit over an inch. Really pretty. I love, 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 love that dimension. By the way, I will be doing a whatnot sale coming up. So please bookmark it. Please sign up for it. All the information will be in the description box. And please let me know in the comments what you would like for me to bring to the whatnot sale from these videos that I'm showing this week because my, my sale is booked for Thursday at, uh, I believe, 8.20 p.m. So it's going to be, let me see, what is tomorrow? I don't know. I'll put it here. I don't remember what exactly what day it falls on, but it is this coming Thursday. And if you bookmark the show, it will send you an email so you don't miss it. And I'm going to be doing $1 start. So you have an opportunity to buy some of this fantastic jewelry at a dollar start. I'm not sure what this is. It could be adventurine, could be jade. It's definitely a stone. They are vintage. So I kind of lean towards jade because of the twist back style. Jade was used extensively, prolifically, actually, in costume jewelry in the 60s. And fifth, fantastic deal. Fabulous, fabulous finds. And then I found these on the same day. These are gorgeous as well. These are not hollow, so they are a little bit on the heavier side, but they look so beautiful on. They are amazing, and these are marked, I think these are marked Mexico. Yes, these actually have an MM34 or something like that, 925 Mexico. And then I think it even says something at the bottom, but I can't see it. Can you guys see it? Again, let me know what items you find interesting enough to bring to the whatnot sale. For a $1 start, aren't these fantastic? They are so pretty. They're also very 60s mod, don't you think? I love these. They are so pretty. Then at the thrift store, I believe this was Texas Thrift, and I think I picked that. No, that was the other thing. I think I picked, oh, I picked this up really, really good deal. I think it was less than 10. And it's a cabochon, amethy amethyst cabochon. It is a larger bracelet, which is fantastic for the ladies that wear size eight, eight and a half. I wear seven and a quarter and look at that space in there. Isn't that fantastic? Can you see that stacked with all your beautiful turquoise and other stones? Diamonds, of course, look great with it but i love amethyst with amber and turquoise and this is a perfect stacking bangle because it's just simple lots of beautiful sterling on it but that deep purple cabochon of wonderful amethyst just 
takes it to a whole other level, don't you think? I love that. That would be a wonderful one to bring to that sale. And uh, I'm still doing my Facebook auctions as well on Saturdays. I just want to kind of parlay my way into whatnot. For those of you who have asked me about how I sell my items, I sell them everywhere but here. I don't sell directly on YouTube, but if you ever do see anything in a haul that I'm not designating towards whatnot, please don't hesitate to email me. I just don't have auctions and sales here on this channel. I prefer to just do it elsewhere. And I know there's a lot of people who don't like Facebook, so I think getting on whatnot is a great solution. Look at this fantastic piece. You know I collect 1928. I adore it, especially the early 80s. I don't go past that. That's when they started to diversify their quality and materials, and uh, they were starting to have to uh, outsource to foreign countries. And that really brought the quality down. Look at that AB stone on the inside. This is like a little sweater clip, hand painted. So beautiful. They did incredible work. I'm still trying to get that video out to you on my collection and the review of the book so that we can talk about their wonderful story and how they had all the big guns, <laughs> all the big guys of Trafari, Monet, and Napier on their knees, on their knees when they took over some of the um, counters at the major department stores. So fantastic jewelry, especially the vintage variety. Love that. These also, I looked this name up and uh, they're quite pricey and very unique. I think they're all made with art glass. So that's really nice. Set in sterling, I think it's called Oh, let me see. Candy. Eye Candy. Eye Candy is the brand. 925. And they have amazing jewelry. Look that up on Google. Look at their site. They have beautiful things. I think I picked these up for $3 at the Goodwill counter. And they are so delightful. Isn't that a beautiful color? I love blue and green together. They are substantial. They're not lightweight, but they're not overly heavy where they will be painful but they feel really good and they look fantastic very whimsical yet kind of uh classic in a way i don't know there's just something really pretty about their color scheme and their design so i love that then i found this one as well i think i found this one at goodwill as well and i think they at this particular goodwill you know, they have different management and different policies at different Goodwills. Some of them are doing base prices on their, or just flat prices rather, on their items. So sometimes they'll have like all their brooches for $3. Another store will have all their brooches for $6. It varies so much. There's one that does all their necklaces for 10 and another one that does them for 6 and honestly, what can you do but buy them if you love them? And I love this one. And it is Genuine Mother of Pearl, or rather Abalone. Very nice selection here on the Abalone as well. Look at that beautiful pink. And they did a wonderful job with the rhinestones too. I see very little color loss. I really, I can't say that I see any on the front, honestly. And if there is, it didn't compromise the integrity in the least, the, in, the beauty and integrity of this piece in the least. And a little bit more wear is visible on the outside. But this is well made. I am truly surprised that it is not marked. Very, very surprised that this is not a early Monet or something. It's just gorgeous. Huge, too. Fabulous on some Tahitian pearls, don't you think? on a Tahitian pearl strand. Now this one was very interesting because I found the necklace separate from the earrings and this is a Trafari, I believe. Let me check that mark again. This is a Trafari trademark. I don't believe, is that a crown? I can't quite tell. You tell me what you see, but it's amazing, amazing workmanship on this one. It looks like 18 karat white gold. It's heavy and beautiful. Oh, here it is. It's got this little dangle too. 
so you may know more about it than I do. Please school us on what you know of their logos and trademarks. Fits like a collar, so it's got a beautiful draping across your neck, more like a collar, just gorgeous. And it is, it looks like ribbons, little, um, I guess, what do you call it, kind of gathered ribbon or scallops. I'm not sure what the terminology would be on that. Then it has an amazing brushed, almost a linen finish to it. And then the earrings are here. They are clip, trefari as well. And they had them separate. They had the earrings, I think, in the $3 section. And then I just happened to look I just kind of glanced over at the necklaces and they had this one sitting there. So, oh my gosh, I was so happy to match them, to marry them, reunite them back. Isn't that fabulous? I love this piece and it is in impeccable. It is in impeccable condition. It looks like it was never, ever worn. Brought home put in a jewelry box and never worn and so substantial heavy and substantial I was really excited about finding this yes indeed I was very very excited to find this wonderful set though I found them separately <laughs> and reunited them love that so so much did get this one for $12.91. I don't think I had a discount that day. I love this. This is lapis. This feels like absolute butter. The chain, you know, it's interesting, but when you find quality, and it is on a jump ring, on a spring ring, when you feel quality jewelry that's finished correctly, it feels good. The chains don't snag. They don't have these open areas or roughness to them they're finished beautifully this is amazing this is lapis it's a sweet delicate choker of wonderful lapis lazuli or lazuli <laughs> uh, i adore it sterling silver very pretty let me see what the mark on it i believe it's just a 925 mark there it is there. Very interesting mark. Like a double mark there. And again, that chain is just beautiful. It feels silky. I love that. So that is just one of my many hauls that I'm hoping to bring to you at one dollar. Oh, I forgot this one. I love this. This is fantastic. Many people really do like the weathered brass, so I'm kind of hesitant nowadays to polish it because brass can take on a wonderful shine, wonderful sheen, and it will gloss up wonderfully. But many people do like that weathered, patinaed brass. And if you look at some of the designer websites, they actually note weathered or what do they call it patinaed brass patinaed brass is a wonderful finish that they are putting out nowadays and people seem to like that i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment on what you want to see me bring to the whatnot sale coming this thursday it's at 8 20 p.m central and i will see you then don't forget to also hit the notification bell here and you will never miss another video. I will see you soon. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye-bye.